सुरू करायचं का हो 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 जसा रोल आहे तो त्यांनी बोल बोललो तरी काही अडचण थांबायचं की सुरू करायचं सुरू करा मग सुरू करा मॅडम साहेबांना विचारा आणि सुरू करा गुड मॉर्निंग एव्हरी वन ऑनरेबल डिग्री प्रीज अँड ऑल द पार्टिसिपंट प्रेझेंट हिअर ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ बाबुरावजी घोलप कॉलेज सांगी पुणे आय डॉक्टर माया माईनकर टेक दिस ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी टू वेलकम ऑल द डिग्नेटरीज प्रेझेंट हिअर फॉर द इंटरनॅशनल वेब कॉन्फरन्स ऑन पोस्ट पॅन्डेमिक रिज्युनेशन ऑफ हायर एज्युकेशन अ ग्लोबल पर्स्पेक्टिव्ह लेडीज अँड जेंटलमॅन दिस कॉन्फरन्स एम्स to discuss various issues related to higher education during and after covid-19 pandemic lockdown has made academicians and administrators to accept challenges to explore new avenues to indulge in academic and administrative deliberations the nature of teaching learning evaluation extension and research will undergo complete change this conference will serve as a platform in this crucial time through which participants can express their ideas and views so as to rejuvenate the higher education system ladies and gentlemen arranging an international conference in a very short period of time was a herculean task but our dynamic decision maker techno savvy principal and the convener of this conference dr nitin gorpare sir left no stone unturned to accomplish the task and with his constant support and motivation this conference has taken a concrete shape to understand the very purpose of the conference and to welcome the honorable dignitaries i would like to invite dr nitin gorpade sir to deliver his introductory welcome speech dr nitin gorpade sir please good morning all happy environment day i am here to welcome all the guests who participated in the international webinar on post pandemic resolution of higher education a global perspective i welcome dr sanju sonawne dean interdisciplinary studies savitri bai phule pune university i welcome honorable sandeep ji kadam honorary secretary and senate member of savitri bai phule pune university i am very happy to welcome you all the webinar is organized in collaboration with cluster of english language and literature i think the webinar is platform to exchange our idea about the post pandemic education we have expert in the subject from usa netherlands and india to share with you i welcome professor madhuri patna university usa dr susyan khan from saingon state university usa professor hari sharma from vu university netherlands professor abbas mehndi ex vice chancellor kg university lucknow professor anjali purne dean humanity and social science department pandemic covid 19 has led to the closure of university and college around the world and create a threat of face to face classroom learning educational expert and university are facing the problem or education going with the situation there in arrival of new generation of digital technology such as mobile cloud computing machine learning to provide online education to lower cost that of the convenience uh, convention education traditional in person classroom learning is like not going away time but the opportunity for yes, virtual solution with the bands that the in class hello i am vaibhavi from pune sir so please this join the is the third for us but has given an opportunity to go with the online learning i am sure this webinar will be useful platform for all of us to know more about transformation in higher education and how to face this pandemic situation i would like to thanks i would like to thanks honorable secretary sandeep ji kadam for opportunity to arrange the webinar 
I would like to thank principal of Cluster College, principal Kenjale sir, Somishar, principal B N Zawri, Mama Sir Mo College, principal Shivaji Mankule from Aum, principal L K Shitore from Warwan, principal T N Salve from Otul, principal Pandavar Sende from Saraswati Mandir Night College, principal Sharmila Chaudhary, Anantra Power College, Pirangu. Principal M U Mulan, T J College Kharki, Principal Vanita Vaswani, M U College Pimpri. I am very thankful to organizing committee member of organizing this international webinar. I am very satisfied with the res response given by the researcher and teacher. I again thank wow. Chief Guest Dr. Sonone sir on the webinar and the teacher gather over here. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for elaborating the theme of this conference and welcome you all the honorable dignitaries present here. Ladies and gentlemen, we rarely get an opportunity to listen to the words of great knowledgeable persons. I feel honored to introduce to you to person who has reached the pinnacle of success with his hard work and modesty. And he is none other than Dr. Sanjeev Sonani, sir. He is the Dean of Interdisciplinary Studies of Savitribai Phule Pune University. I take this opportunity to call upon Dr. Sanjeev Sonani, sir, please. Good morning to everyone. I hope that I am audible to you. Yes, yes. yes, sir. Yes. Good morning. So I congratulate first group. Today, sir, and his team. The timely, uh, timely uh, specific area on the web seminar. Actually, there are so many seminars just now on online seminars are going to organize. But this is very pertinent to the uh, higher education just now, what problems we are facing and what opportunities are open due to this pandemic situation. Friends, you all are gone through the lockdown, lockdown uh, period and we had experienced this. And also there are this Corona or COVID-19 had, had actually influenced the human life very much. And in this line, there are so many things to discuss, but within a few minutes, I will open up some issues which will be directly impact our higher education. The friends, the higher education of uh, pre-pandemic period will be not as per the uh, previous one. It will be totally different. The, pa uh, the past pandemic will be a very new normal life. In this new normal life, the question is that how to conduct a classes, structure of the classes, and the pro new protocol of a, a pandemic period, it will sustain till the vaccine will come. Everybody know this. It is not a new I am. I am uh, but due to this, what happens? This, this seminar organization itself is a very interesting. The things are, things are like this. It is a time now that everybody is talking on online, this is the influence of this corona period. Another thing is that the, our wearing the mask, having a social distance, every time washing the hands, having a sanitization with us, it become a part of our life. And in this situation, that new social life has a new values. What are these values then? And this, these values we have to follow in personal life, social life and also the professional life and in that line the the protocol of a new social life and it it adopted a new values that is the physical distance we have to maintain mass gathering is avoided social behavior has been changed then social responsibilities are on the every citizens not to split keep the distance and due to ourselves the society should not suffer these things are coming up now. Another interesting thing is that the self-discipline in public places is very important. 
new pu public transport rules are adopted now and also at the public places like uh, learning centers malls learning centers with school and colleges and university and this according to this social needs we have to change who will teach to our students all these things that the total responsibility is ours our responsibility is now all these new life and new social values personal values and professional values we have to inculcate in our students this is the one of the responsibility of higher education every teacher every institute it may be college it may be university or it may be any other institutions related to the higher education also it extend to the school level also then the changing the social life just now i said that see the physical life has changed we cannot freely move pre pandemic then virtual protocol has been come out like that just now we are virtually meeting to each other then what are the protocols there the uh, actually somebody is talking then at that time we have to mute our speaker and there should not be any movement and it, see the meeting should not be or gathering should not be disturbed this is the simple protocol has been occurred well dressed up people are some people are feeling that we are at home and from home we are joining this in some some seminar i conducted some participants were sitting on a um, banyan it was not a protocol so we have to change ourselves that work from home protocol has been adopted now and for that purpose also we have to manage our all people's timing and special issues and all these things one thing interesting i had observed that this is my around uh, uh, 21st uh, 21st webinar i am addressing and also participated and all these things the when at the closer people are not talking about any food and accommodation and that facility now especially they are talking about what knowledge gain they had acquired during this uh, during this period and these are the changes we are facing my point is that we are stakeholders of higher education it may be principal it may be teacher it may be a, a student it may be teacher uh, uh, parents and others everybody should be aware that how the, our life has been changed and what type of new adaptation in our personality behavior and and everything we have to follow these things we have to newly adapted things to be taught and to be aware to all the stakeholders of higher education that is the responsibility of a colleges and teachers and universities and from in university grant commission and higher education department they are issuing time to time some guidelines to every um, um, time to time how, what are the protocols what to follow and what not to follow everything is going on we have to follow it and aware it to the our students and stakeholders another thing is that what challenges are emerge due to this that's the, all the policy has been changed higher education policy has been changed to imminent policies that has been changed within last 15 days that are the first is that the now there will be a opportunity to every regular student to acquire a dual degree that means along with the regular mode they can acquire now another degree and this is the ugc is mandated and this policy has changed and now the online online degree that also allowed now there will be three modes of acquiring the degrees now and acquiring the higher education first is regular that we are we are well versed and 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 with that another thing is the second is the gavare sir tum sab mute kara speaker mute kara the second thing is that the uh, second degree is the distance one we know it very well third one is the interesting thing is that the online degree that will be now coming up and just now the uh, finance minister sitaram madam had declared a pandemic package to the nation of a 20 lakh crore in that uh, in that 100 universities has been identified to deliver a online degree and that university of pune is there 
and they are giving a specific aids also funding also to this 100 university to introduce a uh, to introduce a uh, online degree that means one more board one more mode of higher education to acquire a degrees and diplomas has been opened now this is also one of the policy matter which has been come up due to this pandemic situation another third interesting thing is come out that is the ugc had issued a one policy change that the there along with the regular credit acquiring there will be a 20% credit will be acquired by the student on a online basis and that will be considered to award a degree that means at least 80% syllabus we have to finish in a face to face mode and that is why we have to consider now the hybrid mode mixed mode of a regular or a virtual mode and we are seeing it as a blended learning hence for the blended learning is coming very highly and for that purpose whether our teachers are ready to create e content or deliver e content how to conduct a online course and our our as a course in charge and all these things are coming up and these are the new opportunities are coming due to this pandemic situation very fastly now you will say that whether it will be available previously yes it was available previously but focus was not there i will tell you my simple example that just now we are on zoom this i had conducted a one online uh, tools uh, seminar on uh, four years before there was a one professor from hyderabad muktishwar rao he conducted his session from hyderabad four years before on zoom but when the pandemic situation we are locked down we know the zoom and we are using now we are well well we are familiar with the zoom but it was there but due to this pandemic situation how we are compelled to go for this online meetings and online seminar these are the changes and we have to understood it how we can be master in that how we can take benefit of it how we can train ourselves regarding this and how we can extend it to our my students that is the question and that is why we have to change the online training the last Uh, our today our uh, another one program is going on faculty development program on e content development from the nation there are 523 participants are continuously this is the fifth day now uh, in the e, e uh, that e content development faculty development program is going on and how to create a writing a script to the uploading our own video on youtube or any platform that has been teachers has been trained during this period and we have to go for it there is no alternative what important aspect that is i am going to discuss with you that is the how to conduct a e examination or e assessment that is now a million dollar question discussed in maharashtra and it is very impossible to uh, call all the students and attempt examination in a previous matter at at, at every every institute as a examination center university may deliver a question paper university may deliver a answer sheets but how the student will come what will be the mentality of the parents to send their boys and girls or daughter and sons to the to this institute and they are saying that how for a final year examination the life of our student will be my my ward will be at a risk and these are the risk for teachers also how the the answer sheets will be handled by so many people we don't know and there is a possibility of affecting the due to the covid 19 and another thing is that the, how the student will come and appear first paper will be suppose at 9 o'clock and it is the, by the ugc guideline and maharashtra state committee guidelines it will be of a 50 minutes and 90 50 50 uh, marks and 90 minutes but even though They, they, they at the time of you know at the at the uh, starting of the paper how many crowd will be there how to handle how the principal will handle with their own own staffs and teaching and non teaching faculty that's the question and it's 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 at this situation at this today we don't know after one hour the situation will be one month the situation will be changed after three months situation will be changed but today it is impossible 
uh, due to the mentality and the, due to the uh, mentality of the parent and students and everybody is they are fearing regarding uh, if I involved in this situation, uh, what will happen, uh, whether I will be affected by COVID or not. And that is why we have to uh, go for the alternative. And there is a, uh, I have studied during, during this lockdown period, there are 28 different types of e-assessment tools are available freely. Mm -hmm. We can do it, uh, uh, conduct an examination on it. But the subject to the condition that the, every student should have a, a internet connection and, and machine, whether it will be mobile, it will be pad, or it will be laptop, it may be desktop, it should have a, that type of gadgets there. And one survey of our own university indicate that 30 to 40 percent students are not, these facilities are available. That is why we cannot conduct an online examination. But now one day it will come because the digital India is there. And not now, but also six months or one year, there will be a connectivity to each village and everyone, everyone will be connected by net. And then this, we have to teach with the connectivist pedagogy, the new pedagogy, and also conduct an examination with a new approach and new assessment. And that assessment theory, we know summative uh, um, uh, assessment, we know continuous comprehensive uh, assessment, uh, we know uh, internal, external assessment. Now there is a one assessment on online that is coming, the SPTU, SPTU. Uh, assessment. This is very interesting. And this speedy evaluation is not, not failing the students or passing the students. It only checks the capability of the students according to the capability and their, their, their ability of a student. Uh, uh, very, very, in a, in a one line, I will explain you. If CTU evaluation is very interesting, it will be an online assessment. If a one question appears of a one subject student is logging and appearing for the exam assessment, what will happen if the question is a question appears student's response to it and it fails? Then uh, there is no zero mark. There is no zero mark. What will happen? This assessment will give you a little bit simpler question ag appears. Again, immediately the system will take care. And the student will appear for the simpler one. If, even though it is not possible, then again, average student who has a simpler question and he appears, then again, difficult question comes. That means according to the student's capability and ability, this CTV evaluation will test the student and again, taking it to the higher level of that, uh, that as per the uh, Bloom's taxonomy, whether the students know it, whether the student understand it, whether the student apply it, that knowledge, whether the student analyze it, whether the student evaluate it, it is good or bad, it can decide it, critics it. That means the critical thinking is there, analytical thinking is there, and creative thinking is there, creating a new things or not, providing a solution to a new problem, um, problem or not. And that is why that is tested on that. Now the Delhi University had offered an open book test for a final year. Still the debate, debating uh, is going on, and that open book, open book test is totally based on the higher level thinking, that is the application, analytical thinking, critical thinking, and creative thinking questions are there. But problem is that whether our teachers are well trained to, to design such a types of questions or not. And that is why we have to give again this A, E assessment, higher level thinking, open book test, or whatever may be the assessment modality we will utilize. For that purpose, our teacher's training should be there. Also, we have to support to develop an infrastructure of a digital infrastructure is very essential. And these are the challenges we are facing in front of you. Another one important challenge is that how to counsel our students, because as a face-to-face -face mode, we are in the in the classroom and in the classroom we can read the read the eyes of our students and decide that my student had a problem and we we try to solve it understood it counsel him or her and guide him or her but now in a e mode there will be a number of students and this is called a new mass personalized education how can we solve the personalized problem of a student on online 
that type of training should be given to our our teachers and all these things in a newer future then online placement and uh, that is also there and they how to give the placement and another million dollar question is uh, how to give a practicals of a science and engineering pharmaceutical that professional courses and that is why the simulation pedagogy we have to adapt it and that simulation pedagogy on e labs we have to develop and there will be no how to handle the apparatus in a workshop for engineering how to perform a experiment in a, in a lab with a number more number of students these are the questions in front of a higher education and big challenge in front of us but we have a opportunity to develop a some some g some experiment we can go for e experiment that is through a e lab software and it is developing and some people are working on that but but some will be some experiment cannot be possible with the e lab and that is why we have to go for the blended or a hybrid model and we have to following the social distance reducing the number of students in a lab we have to follow a social distance and according to that we have to change the structure and infrastructure of a laboratory and then a small number of students can perform which are very essential to come into the lab and only in lab that experiment can be performed and that type of experiment we have to identify it and only those will be conducted into the workshop and and, and in the laboratory that new plan we have to prepare for the um, for the practical side on this thing regarding widgets regarding fields regarding uh, internship program in beard program going to school and teaching into the there are so many questions like that and we have to follow the find out the solution over over it and that is why i am coming within a, within a two minutes i am going to wind up my uh, keynote address regarding this so we have to Uh, see the how the value will be inculcated in on online basis, and that is why teacher can create a very rich e content that is a scenario based e content. How the book is influencing the some people's personality and change the life, and they had adapted their values in a, in their own life by reading book. The people had changed their life. and that is why we have to write it reading book is also a indirect experience like that we have to prepare indirect experience in a digital form scenario based learning different different scenarios of values we have to and we have to create on the online and we have to go for that so we have to find out solution and and this is the opportunity i think due to this online admissions are there recruitment of teaching and non teaching faculties are there student support issues are there how to give online is this my student is at home but how his questions will be addressed by online mode sms mode or any other mode we have to go for that how to guide a student how to do a research on it on a uh, online mode or sometimes the student has to come in the in the lab if he is coming in the lab what will be the safety measures and protocol we have to follow it all these things are a new life and i think this seminar will give a whole day the discussion on it and i opening and precautions and also the our teachers will be ready to work on that and find out solutions indigenous solution individual solution and indigenous solution local solution to uh, to to this all this problem and convert this up the challenges into a opportunity wishing best to your uh good parish sir you you and your team to conduct a, such a type of very timely vital areas webinar and awareing all the teachers regarding what is tomorrow's future and how to overcome that not to blame to anybody but we should modify ourselves we should mold change the attitude and face these challenges and which will come out with a very different our own solutions to it which will be a great one and appreciated by our students and stakeholders and parents that the yes our teacher had find out really a solution which will be great and my the life is not suffered though some changes are there so thank you for patience listening
Gorupati sir and other uh, organization of this college and principal from Pune District Association. Uh, thank you for giving me opportunity to express my views on this new normal life after post pandemic. Thank you. Dhanyavad Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. Thank you for sharing with us your deep knowledge about higher education and about the changes in education policies, about new pedagogy to be used in higher education in this pandemic situation. Thank you once again, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very blessed and fortunate to have very supporting, encouraging, and friendly principals from our sister concerned institutions and also from the cluster cell. They are also gracing this occasion with their gracious present. It's my pleasure to invite Dr. B. N. Zauri, sir, who is the principal of Mama Sahib Mohar College, to bless us on this occasion. Dr. B. N. Zauri, sir, please. Okay, thank you, Mankar, madam. On the occasion of this one day international webinar on post pandemic reservation of higher education organized by BG College Sangvi and in collaboration with different department of uh, different co college that is near about nine college. First of all, I will welcome to all of you on the of uh, Mama Sir Moore College, Pune. On the occasion of this webinar, my special thanks to, to Dr. Sonone and also to our secretary, Advocate Sandeep Ji Kadam Sahib. As we have to, there will be many challenges in higher education. We may face challenge of economic recession in next coming some months, we may face problem of un unemployment and shutdown. At the same time, the, we face the problem of, uh, you may say the admissions. The role of science technology will be very crucial. We are, we have to introduce new innovative concepts in higher education for reservation the relation or, or the interaction between teachers and students is likely to change. We are likely to face some challenges in conduction of examination and the evaluation system. We have to explore new avenues to engage in academic and uh, administrative deliberations. BG College and cluster of other nine college English department have organized this nice webinar on current topic, which is very essential and need of the time. My best wishes to this conference and hope new ideas will come out of it. With this, I conclude my few words. And again, I will give the special thanks to the Dr. Sonone. Thank you, thank you once again. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you for your best wishes. I'm very glad to invite Dr. Sharmila Chaudhary, madam, principal of Anandra Power College, Pirangu, to wish us on this occasion. Ma'am Chaudhary, please. Madam Sharmila Chaudhary, please. Am I audible? Yes, now you are audible. Good morning, all and warm welcome to all the dignitaries here, as well as the participants, uh, respected, uh, respected Kadam Sahib, and all my principal colleagues, as well as my friends. Today, I'm here for uh, expressing my few words uh, for this webinar. As we all are knowing that we are in a pandemic uh, situation, so many questions arises in our mind that when this pandemic will over, what will be the situation after the pandemic? And the best question that is arising in our mind is that whether the virtual education is really very helpful as, as long as the blackboard teaching. So many questions are arises in our mind as well as in students' mind as well as in the parents. So really this seminar will be a very good session because it will also cover what will be the challenges and how to teach that also covered in this seminar. 
as we know that uh, yashpal committee has given uh, many recommendation and i think now these recommendations are coming true we have to find uh, what are the lacunas and accordingly we have to ch change our scenario and uh, i hope that this will really change the higher education and it will rejuvenate uh, the higher education now i first of all congratulate uh, to uh, this organizing committee because they have conducted a cluster and we all are as a member of this cluster so first of all i can congratulate uh, babura jugolov college and the cluster cell uh, the coordinator sangita godke madam for giving me this opportunity and as well as all the participants who are going to teach uh, i think uh, the topics are eco poetic teaching and many other topics are there so again i welcome all of you here and thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to express my views overall i think this webinar will be a very good nurturing webinar today thank you also thank you ma'am thank you so much i am pleased to invite dr vinita basantani ma'am principal of MU College of Commerce Pimpri to encourage us on this occasion Dr Pinita Basantani ma'am please Maya thank you can you hear me Maya Yes yes I am you are audible ma'am yeah. thank you uh, respected dignitaries on this virtual dais professor sandeep sonamani sir advocate uh, sandeep kadam sir learned speakers and session chairs of all the wonderfully designed sessions Uh, Dr. Madhuri Deshmukh is present here. Is present. Dr. Kannan is there. Dr. Vaishali, Dr. Rajhans, and Dr. Amitabh has already joined. Uh, principal friends and the members of the cluster of English language and literature, and dear participants. Uh, being the principal and also head of the department of English of MU College of Commerce, I have been actually um, actively involved in the formation of this cluster and also organization of this seminar. i have witnessed the pains taken by the cluster members for the organization of this web seminar it's meticulously planned with a variety of topics in each session and speakers of repute um so on behalf of um, uh, mu college of commerce and cluster of english language and literature i extend a warm welcome to you all and also send my good wishes for the success of this web seminar i also take this opportunity to thank the learned speakers and the session chairs to accept our invitation thank you so much please go ahead maya thank you thank you madam thank you so much for the accomplishment of any task immense motivation and inspiration is required and we feel proud to say that we have a large reservoir of motivation in the form of pune district education association honorary secretary advocate sandeep ji kadam sahib I feel honored to invite Advocate Sandeep Ji Kadam Sahib to add glory to this occasion and share his valuable thoughts. Honorable Sandeep Ji Kadam Sahib. Honorable Sandeep Ji Kadam Sahib, please. Sir is trying his best. Sorry for the interruption. We'll continue with this conference soon. He is coming. Can I call him? Sir, kindly uh, reconnect your mic.
Is he getting connected? Yes, he is online. Just wait, he is getting connected. Yes, we can wait. Unmute, unmute, Karan. Prashant, unmute him. Ma'am, okay. sir is already unmuted. You can say. Someone should call him. Problem is with the. Yeah, I called him. I called him. He said Air everything phones. is okay from my side. Yes, yes. Airphone, airphone problem is there. He can remove the airphones and. Yes, yes. Kindly mm -hmm. request, sir, to remove the airphones. I'll call him again. Say. Sir's voice is coming now. Yeah. Hello. Check, check. Huh? Yes, yes, hello. Yes, sir. Now you can speak, sir. Yes, 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 Good morning to everybody. First of all, I hereby give it the best wishes for the environment day. The chief guest of this conference, Dr. Sonone, who is a dean of the interdisciplinary study of SPPU. All the principal who is present here is the various colleges, Someshwar College, Varwan, Aun, Khadki, MOU College, and specifically the Knight College, Saraswati's College. First of all, I welcome you all the one day international web conference post academic rejoinings of the higher education and the cluster of the 10 department of the english known as the cell pune i welcome all the partners cluster college in this webinar i also welcome to all the resource person session chair panelists hod teaching non teaching staff pg students and delegates in the web conference. I hope that you will have an intellectual treat throughout the day. Our president, Honorable Ajit Dada Pawar, Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra, has also sent his best wishes for our web conference. Let me turn to the theme of the web conference, dear friend. Higher education has been going through the tremendous changes during the last few months. We have realized that we have to use online resources for getting the connected to each other during the lockdown period. We have started thinking over the changing the traditional pattern of examination, evaluation, administrations related to work, such other major responsibility that how to execute through using the online the ICT books. So far as the concerns of the higher education in our country, according to the report of the Ministry of the HRD, Government of India, conducted recently conducted the survey of the higher education, observed that there are nine 193 mm -hmm. universities near about the 40,000 college near about the 10,000 stand alone the institute listed on their portal which contribute to the education 
these institutions further reflect the student density of india as the total enrollment of the higher education every year near by 375.4 millions replacing the expanding the horizons of the education industry the sector has been catching the piece of passing the day until the corona virus impacted the country the current pandemic situation is not only seen affecting the health of the citizen in the country but it also seen the various the industries as well as the educational institutes agriculture field and various field and shaking them to their roots the national lockdown and the ascending the health crisis were tricking the educations of the student as well as with their the universities being shut and their salary standard until the industry decided to initiate the revolution instead revenging their the re recycle making the conscience choice to the growth even the time of crisis the university decided to digital the digitalize the sector the education reform in india in the covid 19 era seems to be a new example of how to need the truly is the mother of invention or invent reinvention in this scenario allowing the educational institute to adopt the online learning and infuse the virtual study culture pandemic is already steering the sector of forwarded the technological innovation and advance basically even though the country has adopting the new technology new age learning but there still lies an obstacle in making the india or the entirely successful what still remain the intact is that only 45 crore people of our total populations of the country have access to the internet and thus the e learning process the people residing in rural area are still very much deprived of the latest advancement and therefore hampering the cause of online learning now virtual classroom are not only the dependent on e lectures but also require one to have access one to have access to the e content and online study material practice sheets etc as well and that where the lag behind india is not fully equipped to make the education research corner of the nations by a digital platform and online classroom the student who are not privileged like the other will be held back due to the current resort and there is a no dying that but university and the government of india are trying to solve the problem and solve the situation of the pandemic basically azcha conference cha madhyamatna aple keynote address sonone saibanni je atta je explain kele ani tyachyamadhe tanni atta higher education cha baptimadhe kay aplyala impact hoil kontya problem la face karava lagel याच्या संदर्भात सविस्तर एक शॉर्ट मध्ये त्यांनी सांगितलं त्याच्यामधला पहिला मुद्दा म्हणजे रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीच्या बाबतीमध्ये जर बोलायचं असेल तर ही रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ही एज्युकेशनल युनिव्हर्सिटी एज्युकेशनल इन्स्टिट्यूट कॉलेजेस प्रोफेसर स्टुडंट आणि सोसायटी आणि ह्याला हँडल करणाऱ्या किंवा ज्या गव्हर्नमेंट एजन्सी असतील रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी 
आणि या करोनाच्या सिच्युएशन मध्ये जवळजवळ जो जो चॅलेंजेस फार आले आज आपण आज विचार केला तर अठ्याहत्तर ते ऐंशी दिवस झाले सेंट्रल गव्हर्नमेंटनी लॉकडाऊन जाहीर केले आणि जवळ जवळ ब्याऐंशी ते चौऱ्याऐंशी दिवस झाले स्टेट गव्हर्नमेंटने लॉकडाऊन चालू केले हे लॉकडाऊन केव्हा संपेल हे तुम्ही आम्ही आज काही सांगू शकत नाही आणि त्या दृष्टिकोनातनं आपल्याला प्रयत्न करणं गरजेचं आहे डॉक्टर सोनोने साहेबांनी सांगितलं की नवीन टेक्नॉलॉजीची अडॉप्ट केलं पाहिजे त्याची मानसिकता प्रथमता आपल्या एज्युकेशनल इन्स्टिट्यूट फील्डमध्ये जे काम करतात त्यांची असली पाहिजे आणि ती स्टुडंटपर्यंत प्रक्युलेट केली पाहिजे आणि हे जर केलं तर आपण चांगल्या पद्धतीने आपण त्याच्यामध्ये काम करू शकू असं मला वाटतं ईच गव्हर्नमेंट मस्ट ऍक्सेस देअर ऍसेस देअर सिच्युएशन फाय प्रोटेक्ट प्रोटेक्टिंग ऑल देअर सिटीजन्स अँड इस्पेशली द मोस्ट द सपोर्ट कंट्री इज मेकिंग दिस डिसिजन डब्ल्यू एच ए विल टुमारो इन पब्लिश इट्स अपडेट द स्ट्रॅटेजिक ॲडवाइस द न्यू स्ट्रॅटेजिक समराइज वॉट वी हॅव लर्न अँड चार्ट टू द वे द फॉरवर्ड इट इन्क्लूड द सिक्स क्रायटेरिया फॉर द कंट्रीज ॲज दे कन्सिडर द लिफ्टिंग द रिस्ट्रिक्शन्स त्या सिक्स क्रायटेरिया काय सांगितले डब्ल्यू एच ओ नी तो फर्स्ट क्रायटेरिया सांगितला आहे दॅट ट्रान्समिशन इज कंट्रोल सेकंड इज द हेल्थ सिस्टीम कॅपॅसिटी आर इन प्लेस टू डिटेक्ट टेस्ट आयसोलेट अँड ट्रीट द एव्हरी केस अँड ट्रेस द एव्हरी कॉन्ट्रॅक्ट थर्ड क्रायटेरिया इज दॅट आउटब्रेक रिस्क आर मिनिमाइज इन ए स्पेशल सेटिंग लाईक हेल्थ फॅसिलिटी अँड नर्सिंग होम फोर्थ इज the preventive measures are in place in the workplace schools and other places where it is essential for people to go fifth is that the information risk can be managed this is a most important and sixth is that the communities are fully educated engaged empowered to adjust the new norms and every country should be implementing the comprehensive set to measures to slow down the transmission and save lives with the aims of reaching the steady state to low level and no transmission country must strike the balance between the measures and address to morality caused by the covid-19 and by other diseases due to the overwhelming health system as well as the social economic impact all the pandemic has spread in the public health socio economic impact have been profound and have the disappropriate affected by the various society ani yacha sandarbhat aajcha ja conference madhe je aata aplyala भविष्यामध्ये जे आपल्याला इम्पॅक्ट हायर एज्युकेशन असेल हायर एज्युकेशनच्या बाबतीमध्ये आज जर हायर एज्युकेशनच्या बाबतीमध्ये जरी कॉन्फरन्स असेल तो रिफ्लेक्ट करतो प्री प्रायमरी सेकंडरी आणि हायर सेकंडरी याच्या संदर्भात सुद्धा आपण आज इथं चर्चा होणं गरजेचं आहे या संदर्भात आपण सगळेजण एक्सपर्ट आहात आणि या कॉन्फरन्सच्या माध्यमातनं जर आपल्याला फ्युचर प्लॅनिंग आणि फ्युचर सिच्युएशन आणि हाऊ टू हँडल द स्कूल्स कॉलेजेस अँड द सोसायटी याच्या संदर्भात जर आपण या सेमिनारमध्ये काही चर्चा घडवली आणि त्याच्यातनं काही आपल्या आयडिया आल्या काही सजेशन आल्या आणि त्या बेनिफिट फॉर द स्टुडंट जर असतील तर खऱ्या अर्थाने हा वेबिनार सक्सेस झाला असं आपल्याला म्हणता येईल आणि त्या दृष्टिकोनातनं आपण आपल्या इथं 
मत व्यक्त करण गरजे चाहिए नवीन टेक्नोलॉजी का अडॉप्ट अपन करावाच परंतु सोनवने साहबानी संगित कि कहीं तरह सर्टन लिमिटेशन है नवीन टेक्नोलॉजी का वर करता तुम्हें प्रैक्टिकल कैसे कंडक्ट करना तुम्हें लयब्ररी ज्यादा फैसिलिटी है ई लयब्ररी फन करू पी लयब्ररी लुद्धा लिमिटेशन है रूरल एरिया मधे कनेक्टिविटी का प्रॉब्लेम है फैसिलिटी का प्रॉब्लेम है आशे अनेक प्रॉब्लेम अपने भेड़ावत है उपलब्धते मध्य जास्तीत जास्त विद्या कस एजुकेशन देबल सुधा अपन विचार कर गरजे है बाबत आता हम अपन डिस्कशन के दुसरी गोष्ट जर आता गवर्नमेंट ने जर पॉलिसी डिक्लेर के लिए कि स्कूल कॉलेजेस चालू करा परंतु आता सीच्युएशन मध्य कराएगी कसी आ जरी के लिए तरी स्टूडेंट कॉलेज मध्य का हा क्वेश्चन मार्क है पेरेंट्स कॉलेज मध्य पठवती का यहाँ सुधा विचार के पाजे मैं अशा परिस्थिति का ही ऑफलाइन का ही ऑनलाइन अभी कॉलेजेस महाविद्यालय इवन स्कूल अपन ऑपरेट के लिए पाजे आता ऑफलाइन मे ऐट ए टाइम सर्व मुला कॉलेज मध्य बसू शक नहीं ज्यादे सोशल डिस्टन्सिंग प्रॉब्लम एक वर्ग मधे साठ सत्तर मुल बसू शक नहीं मत 